Ansonsten. So. Hey gang, welcome back to Yakuza Zero. Okay, so um, you remember from the last episode, we pretty much finished chapter 10. We're just right at the tail end of it. We can pretty much go to chapter 11 whenever we feel like it. Uh, and we will do that soon. Uh, what, what I want to get done in this episode today is um, the two sub-stories that Kiryu has left. Possibly three. I'm not sure about the third one when that opens up, but uh, I know for sure that two of them should now be open, and it's the last two bar that third one that Kiryu has. So he will have finished all of his sub-stories just about, hopefully by the time we finish them today. Um, but let's get this going. Hang on a second. Oh, these are, oh, I guess we just did this. Okay, never mind. Uh, I don't think I did anything off camera. I honestly can't remember. If I did, it was like way early in the week. Um, I might have got the businesses advanced. I, I don't even really remember. Um, in fact, I think we still have... Let's see. We should still have... Uh, at the Gambling King area... Where does it say? Um... Oh yeah, there we go. Uh, no, we've got all of, all of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep, that's it. We got the whole thing. So we are done with the Gamma King area. So basically all that's left is to bring the stores up to uh, level S. And we are done. Um, so we will work on that. But for the moment, what I want to do is go see about these sub-stories. Let's try to get at least one done. And then we'll come back to the business and get that advanced. And then we'll get the second one done. Uh, if I remember right, let me just take a look. Hang on a second. Why all of a sudden can I not change? Hmm. That's odd. Why can't I go out? Did my settings get changed? Just a second here, guys. What the hell happened? Somehow my settings got changed. Okay. I'm not sure what happened there. Um, okay. Uh, let me just see where this is. I think. Yeah, it's just before that. That's what I thought. All right. Let's head over. Um, I find that's been happening a lot lately. Actually, my settings getting changed. Let's go north first. Um, not just with games, but with everything. I think Windows Update messed some stuff up. Uh, excuse me, Harry. What the hell are we talking about here? Yeah! <laughs> 
don't know why you guys are bugging me. Stop it. Nobody asked you for your assistance. Damn fools. Okay. Yeah, let's head up here. I want to go from to this alley from the north side, I think. I, I don't know that for sure. I've got, I might have been able to go from the south side, but I kind of feel like this is the way we want to go, so this is the way I'm going to go. And, you know, if it's wrong, well, screw you guys. No, oh, piss off. Nobody asked you for your help. Okay. Down here somewhere. Excuse me. I can beat the tar out of you. Uh, who's saying that? Okay, hang on a second. Let me see where she is. She's supposed to be actually right in here. Is her? Oh, that's her. Um, excuse me, please. I need help. A shining example. Nice. Hmm? A drunk pervert is harassing my friend. Please. Please come help her. Um, one moment, please. Can I have this? Thank you. Let's see which one is this? This is this one. Okay, uh, yeah, there's nothing to this. I don't need to worry about this. Okay, uh, yeah, let's go help. All right, where is she? Thank you, over here. Real quick. All righty, let's go check it out. We're just through here. This is not a setup at all. This drunk's all alone. Does he have any friends? Yep, and she's gone. Mm -hmm. Where'd she go? Nani? Mm -hmm. What's going on here? Nice dodge. Not bad for a shitty Yakuza. I was told there'd be a drunk pervert. <laughs> You're too gullible, asshole. <laughs> Figures. So that girl is your accomplice. What do you want from me? I just have a small favor to ask. Mm. Hmm? Do society a favor and die. This dude's protecting himself from COVID. Oh look, he's bringing friends. Come on, mysterious man. You think you're all that? You're, you're not all that. Get out of here with this. Now if Iron Pipe is done, ooh, one less man with the Iron Pipe. Oh, I didn't have to kill your friends. They all run off like a coward. Yeah, sit down. Erg. Please don't kill me. You set up an ambush and then you beg for mercy. Not the sharpest tool in the shed, are you? Let's see your face. Yeah, let's see your face. Just a kid. So, what's your story? Did someone pay you to kill me? No, it isn't like that. Uh? Then why'd you target me? You on the Dojima family payroll? The Dojima family? I, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know any Dojima family. I didn't care who it was, as long as it was a Yakuza. It didn't even have to be you. Nani. What? <sighs> I hate Yakuza. It'd be a better world if they all die. <laughs> people who are fond of the Yakuza are pretty rare, but I'd say it's even rarer to find a nut job waiting to jump people in the back alley for no damn reason. How old are you? I'm 16. Mm. High school, then. Screw high school. I'm in a biker gang. Heh. <laughs> <laughs> so you're some biker game grunt. Huh? What makes you think I'm a grunt? Yeah. Right. What's your name? Tanaka. Shinji Tanaka. Shinji Tanaka. And what's your de deal? What family are you with? I'm a civilian, not a Yakuza. Yeah, right. 
Ask one more time, Shinji. Nobody put you up to this? Huh. That's right. Then why do it? The Yakuza destroyed my family. My old man ran into cash flow trouble flipping real estate. The Yakuza sharks smelled blood in the water and they took everything. My mom was smart. She ran at the first sight of trouble. Those assholes came and beat on my old man every day. Then the old man would beat on me because he could. But that stopped once I hit him back. Now he sits around hugging a bottle. Makes me want to put him out of his misery. I couldn't stand being around him, so I hit the streets. And you thought mugging Yakuza was the answer. If I'm going to steal to live, Yakuza are totally fair game. They're all thieves anyway. And they've got a reputation to uphold. They can't go crying to the cops if they get their asses kicked. Uh. You're walking a fine line. If they catch you, they'll kill you without a second thought. <laughs> it's fine. The only ones who know I'm doing this are my bike game. Guys I can trust. Hope that works out for you. Hey, where'd you think you're going? What, you need me to listen to more of your life story? As long as you're not an answering to a higher power, I'm done with you. But since you're letting me speak my mind, quit this Yakuza hunting thing while you're ahead. You're only still alive through dumb luck. When they catch you, and they will, they'll pay you back tenfold. Whatever, I haven't met a Yakuza as tough as you yet. As long as they're all alone, they go down like chumps. I enjoy listening to them beg for mercy. That said, when you kicked my ass, I seriously thought I was dead. Fine. You do what you want. I'm not gonna argue about it with a grown man. Okay. Well, that was relatively sh That kid's gonna be dead sooner or later, but I did what I could. I've got my own problems right now. Okay. Sure. Alrighty. That takes care of that for the moment. Um, let's... Hang on. Got myself turned around here. Uh, yeah, let's, um... Where the hell are we? Let's head this way. Uh, we'll get the businesses advanced, and then we'll go do the second one. That's gonna be the plan. This is just should be ready by now, I would think. Let's just double check. Yeah, it says pay already. Okay. Alrighty, let's go do that. Oh, God damn it. I wish there was a way you could turn this off because it's not helping me at all. All it is is a waste of my time. I don't around in the circle anymore. I like that. That was fun. I feel like there should be... That's still available. Uh, what's happening here? Excuse the hell out of me. Get out of my face. Can you guys stop, please? I'm not interested in you in the slightest, and you're just bugging me. Alright, um, I think if we go... Let's go south here. Past the plaza. Excuse me. Um, so yeah, we'll do these two sub-stories. If we finish, and there's really nothing else to do, we may end up going past chapter 10, or finishing up chapter 10 today. I, I don't really know. And catching back up with Majima, because we're going to end Kiryu's time for a little bit. So let's get this going. Well, it would be nice if we could get as many stories as possible to level S as we can before we finish off the chapter. I mean, it's not the end of the world if we don't. I don't really care too much. Hardly anything. Okay. Start. Uh, yes. Start. Yes. Start. Start. 
Uh, no, actually, let's go in here. So, sorry. Um. God, that's going up slow. Jeez, please. These things. Oh, come on. Hitting the button too many times. Um, okay, uh, this one. Yes. Come on, get up this. Bloody hell. Okay, you can at least go to A. Oh. <laughs> okay, you can at least go to B. Holy cow, C's hardly moving. You gotta be joking. That's ridiculous. Boy, not a thing got advanced. Not a single one. I mean, we got two that are close. That's close to A. Oh, God, Lord, have mercy. Okay. These guys are still going. Go ahead and start. Um, That is such a grind. It's such a grind. Oh no, I gotta fix the staff. This one actually matters. Sure. Okay. When I tell you to put it in, stop hitting the button twice. Boo! Um, you're good. Yeah, not really. This one actually does matter, so I'm gonna put you in. Um, alright, start collection. Okay, those are all going again. God, I'm gonna have to grind those like crazy to get those up to S. It's just ridiculous. Okay, uh, let me take a quick look and see where we're going here, gang. Um,. Okay, pretty much right where we were, which is unfortunate. Excuse me, people. Oh, it's off. You're all right. I have to pass the closet. Back over. Ooh, look at who it is. Absolutely the hell not. Right in here somewhere. Should be. Um. A guy. So. Probably just, just down in here. This guy, maybe. Yep, yeah, this is him. Oh no, it's that woman again. Who's the unfortunate victim I should connect her to? Hang on just a second here. Okay. Uh, the telephone club crooks like a, looks like he has a problem on his hands. Just a second. Oh, uh, give me my... Ah, oh, sir, can I help you? Yeah. Uh, no. I just noticed you seemed like you had a problem. What's with the stare? Sir. What? <laughs> Your voice is so cool. In fact, it stops me in my tracks. And I'm, st I'm a straight guy. You're a lady killer. Uh, okay. Maybe with a voice like yours. Mm hmm. Lady killer sign. May I interest you in our telephone club? Oh, are you seriously calling me that? I was just passing by, man. Some other time. Please, a moment, sir. You don't even have to pay. I beg of you. Try out our telephone club. You don't want me to pay? Now I know there's a catch. <laughs> well, yes. I'll be honest with you. 
You see, we've been getting calls from this strange woman. A strange woman. Yes, it's a woman with a strange voice. The thing is she says the things she says don't make much sense either. She's really weird. She's been calling us nonstop today. She's so odd, the customers I connect her with end up complaining. I don't want to patch her through anymore. Mm. Sounds like a problem caller, all right. But even if she's odd, the telephone club can't really start refusing calls. That's exactly it. But you're such a lady killer, sir. I think you could be the man to talk her down. What? Me? Hi! Yes, that voice like whiskey. That overflowing sense of empathy and compassion. With a voice like yours, even the weirdest woman can be wrangled. You've got to be kidding me. You don't have to pay. Please. I'm begging you. I guess at least a chance to get some telephone club practice in for free. What do I have to lose? Okay, can I have my thing? Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, I'll take the call. Uh. Oh, all right. I'll take the call. Not for too long, though. <laughs> yes, you're a lifesaver. I'll show you to a room right away. I'm sure she'll call again soon. And since she does, I'll patch her through to you. Uh. Sure. Okay. Mm. The clerk said he would patch the weird caller through right away. Is she actually going to call? Mm. There's the call. Weird calls about topics that don't make sense. Wonder how this is going to go. How weird could this lady be? Hello? Hi, are you someone I could finally talk to? I'm so tired of those shit for brains guys hanging up the phone. Uh, uh sure. I'm your man. Her voice is so deep and husky. And she does kind of gutter. She's kind of a gutter mouth. The crook wants me to deal with this using empathy and compassion. How should I break the ice? Alright, we're gonna start off with how old are you? How old are you? Say what? Why the hell would you want to know that? Yeah. Oh, you know, when you're talking on the phone, the other person's age can really affect their enthusiasm. Seriously? That's how it is, huh? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. That's the way it is. I don't know how enthusiastic about this you'll be, but I turned 32 this year. Hey, I thought you said it would be make you enthusiastic if I told you my age. Are you fucking with me? Uh, I don't think so. I'm as enthusiastic as I can be? What do you mean by that? If you're trying to piss me off, you're doing a great job of it. Looks like I made her angry. Damn, you're such a weird family. And everyone I've talked to at your place is even nuttier. My place? Do you know how many times I called? I keep getting someone different every time. It's been impossible to get this deal to happen. How big is your family, anyway? Daddy. My family? What are you talking about? Of course you're not going to get the same guy every time you call. Huh? What are you talking about? You're all just one big happy family, aren't you? It must be precious to you. A precious family. Uh, we're going to say, yes, we're family. Every customer here is a rival, competing over incoming calls. I don't know their faces or their names. We all work towards the same goal. We share a common dream. In that context, maybe we are all one big family. Okay, this guy doesn't know he's calling into a, a telephone club thing, obviously. Uh. Yeah, you're right. Everyone here is my precious family. Good, good. Family is precious. Glad there's someone who understands. That'll make our deal go smoothly. Deal? Yeah, deal. You know what this is about. It's about the most important thing in your life. The most important thing to me is... <laughs> okay. Um, we're gonna say my manhood. You mean like my manhood or something? Ha! Well, close enough. I'm talking about your little guy. What are you going to do to my little guy? Ha! What shall we do indeed? It all depends on your reply. I don't like where this is going. Ha! I love it. Finally, you're feeling the heat. You're about to lose the most important thing in your life. Nani. You're going to take that away from me? I'm sorry, but I'm not doing anything that hardcore. Oh, but you will. This is serious. If you want your little guy let loose, bring cash to the fountain in West Park. Nani. What? Cash? Isn't that against the rule? Of course it is. I knew that going into this whole thing. Uh, okay. How much money are you expecting, anyway? Okay. 
50. 50 and your little guy gets off. 50. Is that really all you want? Yeah, and come alone. I'm looking forward to this. All right. Yeah, it sounds like some sort of, um... Oh, Lady Kosan, sir. Thank you so much. You really came through for us. Sounds like they, there might be some sort of miscommunication here. I think he's talking about kidnapping. You were on the phone with her for a while. How did it go? Well, it's not her, for one thing. I promised to meet her in front of the fountain at West Park. I'm on my way now. Really? You got her agree to meet up? That's amazing. The other guests all hung up the code because the conversations just weren't going anywhere. I knew you were the one, Lady Killer Song. Your compassion and patience are the gold standard. They're the best. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. Besides, she might be a little different, but I don't think she's a bad person. <laughs> At least this should cut down on the weird calls she keeps making. Thank you so much, Lady Killer Song. Mm. Stop calling me that. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I wonder what she's like in person. You'll come back to tell me, won't you? Um, supposed to meet her where? West Park? Okay, so West Park it is. Uh, I want to make sure I don't get anywhere near that mission marker. It's off. be the guy over here. I was supposed to meet that odd telephone caller in front of the fountain in the park here. Come to think of it, neither of us told each other what we look like, what to look for. Mm. How are we supposed to meet up? Oh, that voice. Could it be? No. Hey, you. Mm. Hmm? What? The dulcet and velvety tones of that voice. You must be the guy from the phone. Phone? What phone are you talking about? Uh -huh. Don't play dumb with me. Where's the money? You brought it, right? Mm -hmm. Money? That's right, money. Come on, hand it over. Or else. Your beloved little guy. My beloved little guy? Wait, I talked to a woman with a husky voice at the telephone club with my little guy. You must be a friend of hers. Huh? Telephone club? I don't know what you're talking about, but that was me on the phone. Daddy. What? You don't sound like her. She had a husky and sexy voice. Uh -huh. Are you nuts? Why would I phone in a ransom demand with a real voice? I used a voice modulator. Ransom? Voice modulator? And what about the deal to get my little guy off for 50 yen? What are you talking about? Don't you want your son back? I fork over the 50 million I told you to bring. Help, I want to go home. Holy crap, that telephone caller was a kidnapper. Yeah. You're not getting a single yen out of me. What? But then why did you come? Because, uh, to protect what's important to me. Uh -huh. Shit. You were never going to pay at the ransom from the start, were you? You asshole. You know too much now. I can't let you walk out of here. Okay. Maybe the tar list, dude. Just a shifty eyed man. I'll dunk your head in the water. You're done. Sit down, you damn fool. Shit, I never should have snabbed a kid with a dad so goddamn tough. Yeah. Was it up that boy in my son? You were calling into a telephone club the whole time. A telephone club? That can't be. I dialed the number on the, the kid told me. Well, actually, I could see a neon sign through the window of the room I was locked up in. I didn't want my mommy or daddy to worry, so I just told you at the telephone number that was on the sign. Then you're... Yeah, just a telephone club customer. No wonder my ransom demands were getting nowhere. My business went bust, I lost my house, and the wife left me with the kids. 
And now I get conned by the kid I abducted. Savaged by a telephone club customer and no money to show for it. Where did my life go so wrong? It's not too late to turn things around. Huh? After you've had some time to think about your crimes and you're set free, I'll take you to a telephone club. Ha, <laughs> ah, that's great. Something to look forward to. If they're still around when I'm out... Thanks, buddy. You know, I'm glad I got to talk to you on the phone. It was an enjoyable conversation. Here, hold on to this, would you? It won't help me where I'm going. Super spicy knife! Woo! Yeah, send it off. Mm. Thanks, I guess I had fun too. Well, sounds like the cops finally got word of this ruckus. I'll go quietly, don't worry. Talk to you later, telephone buddy. Okay, go on. Split. Thank you for rescuing me, mister. Sure, are you alright? Yep, that kidnapper man was really nice. Was he? Hey, hey, mister. What's a telephone club? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, well... It's like a playground for grown-ups, where you can meet new people. <laughs> oh, that sounds fun. I want to go to a telephone club. Like I said, it's for grown-ups. Okay, there you go. Destiny Calls is complete. Now then, let me take a look and see what the deal is with... If I can get it to come up head of the clan um so he's got one more okay all right supposedly what should happen is we should get a message from uh, somebody um but I don't know if it's gonna happen in this chapter or not see what? You talking to me? You see anybody else? Come with us. We need to have a little chat. Who are you guys? Doesn't matter who we are. But you, on the other hand, you know a kid named Sh Shinji Tanaka? Mm -hmm. He told us all about you. You don't need me to spell out your rest, do you? Yeah. I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh -huh. Don't play dumb with me. We used that kid to go after our boys. Nani. What? Kid ratted you out. So quit playing dumb and come along. This is what happens when you screw with the Jinzi family. You guys caught Shinji? What did you do with him? <laughs> ah, your concern for that little shit is real touching. And as good as design as a profession. You're the guy he's working for. But don't worry about a thing. You'll see him real soon. So quit dragging your ass and come with us. <laughs> no wonder the Jinzi family is a shit stain of a third strength family. You guys don't know anything about it. Eti etiquette. <laughs> etiquette. Huh? Huh? You want to take me somewhere? You better bow first. If you can't do that, then piss off. Why, you fucking punk? Forget it. We'll beat the shit out of you. Here and now. Okay, do okay. I guess I'm gonna beat the, beat the living tar out of these guys. Caught us down. Why do you keep doing that? Stop it! What the hell? I'm gonna build up some heat on you. And then I'm gonna grab ya and pound you in the Oh, ouch! Oh, that's got a sting. Who the hell is this guy? This is crazy. Where is Shinji? That punk is still better be alive. Uh, show me where he is. But you ought to know, I'm not the guy pulling his strings. He likes it. What? He dragged me into this, and he's going to pay for it. Oh, I see. So that's how <laughs> this went down. We're on the same page, though. Man. Uh? Take me to him now. Quit stalling. 
Yes, sir. Okay, I guess we're going. Um, is this part of the sub story? I thought the sub story was over. Ugh. Mm -hmm. Didn't expect to find a key like this, mauling our boys. So, where's the guy filling this punk's head with ideas? Still can't find him? Yeah, not sure what the holdup is. You. Did you come for me? Well, well. Well. So this is our mastermind, eh? Huh? Wait. Where's the boys who brought you? Brought you? We're taking a nap outside. You sure pulled out all the stops to deal with one stupid kid. What a circus. Huh? Wait a minute. I... I recognize this bastard. Huh? huh? It's Kiryu. The Dojima family put a bounty on him. It's the guy that the Dojima family is after. Kazuma Kiryu. <laughs> What? You're shitting me. How's you cure you? Why would a walking dead man invite this this kind of shit? Like I'd bother hunting down weaklings like you. Shinji here to move shoved a load of BS down your throat. <laughs> ah, so that's the story. Well, screw it. I don't give a shit anymore. It's our lucky day. All we gotta do is take this clown to the Dojima family, and we're in the good graces of the most powerful family in Kamaruchu. <sighs> All right. Cave is facing. He's our ticket to the big leagues. Do you think so? Yep. I'm gonna build up a little heat on you, dude. Oh, uh, here you are. You're, you're finished. Come on. Come on. How about you? You know, you're done. Let's grab a thing. Homura! Oh, oh, you're still up. Just barely, but you're still up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab a table. Just a second. Um, excuse me. Hara, I believe you're finished. And you're done. Okay, was that the second? Was that another part of the sub story? I I'm really confused. I thought the sub story was over. So maybe we weren't quite finished with that sub story yet. I thought we were. Damn, you are freakishly tough. So you're Kazuma Kiryu. I heard about you. The whole Dojima family's out hunting for you. That's brutal, man. You're taking on the whole Dojima family by yourself. I wish I had half that kind of strength. They worked you over pretty good. Did that pound some sense into that thick skull of yours? Yeah, as if. How did they find out you weren't the one going after them? Someone in the gang ratted me out. They got scared the Yakuza would come after them if they, if my cover got blown. So they turned me over in exchange for their safety. <laughs> when I think about it, I can see why they did it. I was an idiot for trusting them. One more question. Why'd you tell these goons that I was the one ordering you to go on this Yakuza beating spree? Yeah. Because if I didn't give them something, these guys were going to take me out and bury me off in the mountains. I figured there was no way they could take you on. So I gave them a description. I told them you were my boss. I had to. I thought maybe you'd come save me. You just seemed like that kind of guy. What the hell? What do you think you're, what do you think you're doing? What have you been doing with your whole life? Huh? 
The gun is to your head, and the first guy who comes to mind is a complete stranger you've only met once. No family, friends, or relatives you could trust to throw out there. Instead, you've been acting like some vigilante jackass trying to take out the Yakuza until they finally won. What the hell is that kind of life? Nobody ever taught me to trust. I never had anyone around to show me what to do, so I figured it out as I went. No one taught me anything about how to live. <laughs> Grow up. You can't blame this on your father or the people who failed you. You have to fight your own damn battles. I'm no exception. I'm trying to my damned hardest to live. But you're so damn strong. I was just lucky I had a mentor. I had to have someone who gave me something I could aspire to be. He's a Yakuza though, so I guess that means you automatically hate him. He's your role model? He's a Shintaro Kazuma, the captain of the Dojima family. If I could be half the man he is, I'd be alright, but I'm not even close to that. Shinji, the Yakuza have their eyes on you now. You can't stick around. Get out of Kamarucho, find yourself some, someone you can trust. Someone to show you the ropes. Get out of Kamarucho? I can't do that. Kiyo-san? I'm not running away. Daddy. But, besides, you've got way more Yakuza on your tail than I do, don't you? I'm staying put. <laughs> have it your way. If that's how you choose to live, like I said before, I won't argue with you. <laughs> yeah, it's my decision. Promise me this, though. Cut ties with your sorry little gang. And, if you're going to live in this town, I want you to figure out how to get outlive me, Shinji. Hey, Kiryu-san, one last thing. What made you come save me? You're already at the top of the Dojima family's hit list. Why take that risk? Who knows? I don't know why I do half the things I do. But when I was a kid, I was alone too. If I hadn't met Kazuma-san, I'd probably be a lot like you are now. See you around, Shinji. Okay. Is this is somebody who shows up in a later game. Kiryu-san, I think I've found someone I can aspire to be. In fact, I hope someday I can be even better than you. I got a feeling we've, we've run into him in later games. No matter where you go, I'm going to be just a step behind. You know, just you are. Okay, that's the end of a shining example. Kiryu-san, sort of. There you go. Now we're done with... <laughs> Boy, I thought, thought we had finished it. Okay. Apparently not. Okay, let's take a look. Um, sub stories. Uh, I don't. Sub stories, there we go. 59 out of 60. We only have the one more left to go. So, very nice. Actually, let's go back there again. Uh, the business is doing they're ready. Okay. Let's run back to the businesses and get those advanced. I'm gonna have to grind those guys. I mean, I don't know what else to tell you. They're, they're going up so slowly, it's gonna take tons and tons of time. Um, I'll try to do some of it this week, I guess, off camera. But, yeah, what can you do? I just gotta build them up, bit by bit. Maybe we should not have the money for a problem. Well, we still do have 10 businesses to buy and upgrade for the next section, the uh, Media King. But I feel like we got a good income now, so unless those are seriously expensive, I don't think we should have a problem. Okay. We'll hit three bill. Not. I'm pretty close though. I'm really close. 2.9 bill. Okay, I think all these need to have their stuff. Change that. You're not. Okay, let's check out this. First of all, the staff. Okay, 
getting there. Oh, that one's got an S. Yay, we got another one of S. Okay. This one's got to go. Yay, we got another one of S. 42 to 56. Wow, nice. I got one to A, so I'll go to 20 mil. 30 mil. I don't know. Which is better? I guess this one. Damn. Okay, well, that's getting up there. How many we got left? One. Two, three, four, four. Okay, we've done six out of ten. That's that's not bad. Um, the staff is fine. So that's three hundred million yen that we're collecting from this one. This one I'm having a hard time even getting off a of C. That's just crazy. Stuff here is fine. Go ahead. Start collection. Thank you. All right. Very nice. Okay. Pretty good, guys. That's going again. Um, do a few minutes. I do not think I want to advance to the level to chapter ten because I don't know how you know how that is. It'll be a pet scene and it'll be fifteen minutes long. Um anyway, I'm not really sure what we're gonna do at this moment. Uh we should, if I understand correctly, be getting a message to do that final sub story. I'm kinda of likely that to appear. On the other hand, I'm not a hundred percent sure that it actually will, just because um, you know, there is a chance that it may be required to finish a certain sub story or something. I don't know where the hell I'm going. I'm just kind of waiting for that message to show up. Um, I don't think we have anything on the completion list that I can do at the moment. Uh, let's see, Vincent. The restaurants, I don't know where these are. I think these have to be with um, Majima. So I don't think we can do those. Everything else is done. So all we've got, oh, wait, was that? 15 different, oh yeah, the video clips. We'll do that after we get the rest of the cards. Um, battle. What else we got in battle? The Colosseum, which I've never been to. I'm assuming that's going to show up at some point. I'll have to look that up. 40 different heat actions. I still have 11 more to go. Hmm. Um, weapons. Yeah. yeah. And gear items. I'm not really sure about that one either. Um, oh, we do have training. Bacchus and Kimoji. Oh, we could do that, I guess. Uh, Kimoji's just right up here, so to our north. Yeah, let's do that. We'll do one of these. Why not? Kill a little time doing that. Maybe both of them. Just don't set off that, uh, that mission marker. Kimoji! We've hit the 10 million yen course, Kiri-san. Yeah. Easy. You got the cash and the uh, gumption to do this? Yeah. Ah, Kiri-san. So you've got the money. You're in tip-chop shape. Ready to drum up some business? Yes, I am. Sure. Most people will think this is a joke, but I'll give it a try. Okay, I'll hold on to the 10 million yen. Seeing this with a lot of bills ready that puts my lifestyle in perspective. Take good care of it, though. Okay. Gotta do this again. Listen up, people. Punch-Out Artist is back in town. 
My new apprentice, Kyu-san, is taking on all comers. It's 10 million in a shot. Lock him down just once in a minute and you double your money. That's why you, I'll buy you a new car. Not really. Well, 100,000, yeah, I guess it would. No takers, I guess there's not many around who'd stick 10 million on a street fight. Maybe not. Hey, you guys. Aha, a bite. You two set the stakes pretty high. Are you that confident you can win? Confident as can be. Use looking up to, to take up the gauntlet. It'll cost you 10 million yen up front. Is it okay if I use a katana instead of my fists? Mm -hmm. Huh? Uh, sure, why not? What do you mean, sure, why not? Hey! You'll be fine, Kyu-san. We'll never get another nibble at 10 million yen. If I get it cut to shreds, I'm blaming you. Okay. It's all right if I try out on this guy, Rabusan. Be my guest. We'll chop him in. I'll ch we'll chop him in two. No trouble. I've been looking for a place to test this blade out. You'll see. What's the deal with the katana? Rabusan here deals in antiques. He says this is the historical katana, an enchanted blade said to strike down even the wiliest ninja master on the spot. An enchanted blade. If it's real, it'd be a national treasure. A bargain at several hundred million yen. Ten million is a fair price for testing it out. Uh, I'm getting a bad feeling about this, Kyu-san. <laughs> you think? Let's see if I can dodge that thing. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> well, I'll be needing that entry fee then. Let me go over the rules. Okay, same rules. As always. I got faith in you, Kyu-san. Alrighty, let's fight. Stay over there. Couldn't cut him down. Is this blade really enchanted? Let's talk about this, Kabusan. I don't think this is going to work out. But so your name's Kiryu, huh? Well, thanks to you, I just lost out on a big payday. You're blaming me for your shady business deal going bust. Get a life. You'll get yours. Was that really an enchanted guitar, Kyu son? No. In fact, it had mostly lost its edge. He was probably just trying to get a better price for that junk. I had a feeling. Who can afford to slap down 10 million like that, anyway? Must have had his priorities all wrong. Maybe. Just shows we're not likely to get any takers for the 100 million yen course. Yeah. Oh, I got to tell you something. What's that? When you're in a pinch and can't get away, shoving the enemy is another option. Then you move around behind them. Mm. Shove them, huh? You learned counter quick step. This lets you evade and switch places with the enemy. Hold right button to enter a fighting stance, then B in time for the enemy's attack. Thanks, Kamoji. That'll be useful. <laughs> Heh, no rule is broken as long as you don't attack. About the winnings, we split 10 million entry yen fee, and I give you back your stake. That makes it 15 million yen for you. You're taking 5 million yen for overhead and lesson fees. I think I gave you some pretty good advice. Fine. I guess it's helped my biz build my skills. I won't complain. Next up is the 100 million yen prize. I'll be waiting. Well, you won't have to wait long, my friend. You won't have to wait long. Because we're going to do it right now. We're up to the 100 million yen course, Kiri-san. I got to pinch myself to make sure I ain't dreaming. You ready with the money and all? 
Yeah. Ah, Kiryu-san. So you got the money, and yours is in tip-top shape. Ready to drum with some business? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yeah, I'm ready. I doubt we'll get any interest, but I'm curious to see who will show up if we do. Let's give it a try. Okay, I'll hold on to the 100 million yen for now. Dang, my hands are shaking. 100 million yen, that's a million dollars. That's nice. Hi. Okay, we'll take on the notorious punch out artist. My star apprentice, Kiryu-san, is looking for a challenger. 100 million yen a shot. He gets double your money back if you knock him down once in a minute. That's way better odds than winning the lottery. All we can do is try to dodge. Who wants to get in on this dream match? Hey, you too. Ah, oh, do we have a challenger? I didn't expect to find one so easy. You realize the prize money's got to be paid in advance, right? Whoa, calm down. He doesn't pay out the prize money. I have 100 million yen right here. This should cover the entry fee, right? Perfect. I hear you went up against a guy wielding a katana. You okay with me using a weapon too? It's nothing as big as that old sword. Don't use a gun. Uh, I guess that sounds okay. Right, Kyu-san? Uh. Sure. Uh, I don't know about this. Then we have a deal. I'll go over the rules. Seems normal enough, eh? Kyu-san? Guess what the stakes up guess when the stakes go up to hundred million yen you beat out all the dodgy types. I hope you're right. Why the long face? Come on, let's fight. Do you not have a gun? That way. He's got a gun. Yep, that's what I thought. You knew? Hey, it's the guy who was fixing to sell that sword. I lost a lot of money thanks to you. How are you going to make this right? That's why you sent a guy at me with a gun? Too bad it didn't work out for you. You really get on my nerves. Fine, I'll just have to take care of you myself. What are you waiting for then? I've spent enough time dancing around. Punching someone would be great right now. Here, son. Don't try to stop me. Come, Oji. This guy's got it coming. Wasn't going to. Hope he gives you just the desserts. Now you can put all you've learned into the test. Okay, there's no way you were ever going to win that. Ready? Huh? To completely pulverize the enemy, you got to evade all their attacks real smoothly like. Dance out of their way and smash their face into your heart's content. Anyone not customer gets no mercy from me. Komoji? You learned the essence of a relentless barrage. Exploit a gap in the enemy's defenses to unleash a combo attack. This technical move also incorporates feints. Press Y near a frightened enemy. Got it. You just watch. You're a good teacher, Komoji. I'm glad you made me your apprentice. But I'm afraid I have to call it quits on the punch-out game after this. Here, son. Let's see if you can punch me out before I flatten you. Okay, can I change styles? Or am I stuck in this, this one? Okay, step one, I think, is going to be to fix this. I can't change styles. Rude. Tell you what. Since I 
can't seem to get my heat up. Let's do that. I don't know why, because my stupid heat thing won't go up any anyway, but it won't go off. Yeah, jerk off. Smash your head into the ground. Please. There you go. Whew. Guess things didn't work out like you hoped. Don't show your face here anymore. If I lay eyes on you again, you won't get off so easy. Got it. Bye bye. Bye bye then. Bye bye. All right. So that was fine. Yeah. I'm done with the punch out art of business now. Come, Komoji. Thanks for the pointers. Hey, it should be me thanking you. Being your teacher made me a little famous around here. Well, there's nothing special about me. I'm more impressed by how long you've stuck with this gig. Hitting folks is scary, but getting hit don't bother me at all. That's why this suits me perfect. I'd enjoy your job where it never lasts. You're probably right. 
Oh yeah, let me pay you your winnings. Here's the 100 million yen you staked and the 100 million yen you won. That's 200 million yen in total. Huh? I thought we were doing an even split. What about your cut? No use carrying that kind of cash for a guy like me. A man who gets rich overnight just finds trouble. With 50 million yen, you could leave the street behind and live a normal life. I'm planning on getting an apartment with some of the cash I made up last time. I won't be homeless anymore. <laughs> Even a shabby old apartment would be a palace to me. That's all I could ask for. I see. I owe you big time, Kiryu-san. I'll be sticking with the Punch-Out Artist gig. Come see me when you get time. Okay. Well, there you go. That's nice. We got all of uh, Komoji's moves done. So that's pretty awesome. I'm still not getting that message. I've, I guess it's just not going to happen. Um, businesses are ready. Okay, let's go quick. Uh, take care of those. I think I went down the wrong street. Um, and then we'll call it a day. I'm going to go down that street because it's cut through the... Uh, no, now I'm lost. Oh yeah, geez, we're hell far away from where I want to be. Um, okay, we can stop off at the shrine real fast. Let's get the next level of whatever this is. Um, adventure's done. Battle needs one more. Oh, well, just one more. Uh, the golden pistol. 40 CP. Um, sure. I can't get it. Okay. Tell you what, here's the nearest. Well, now I want to. I want to get this done since this is the last one. So I'm just going to run over to the phone booth, drop off some stuff, and we're going to run back. Here's the nearest phone booth. Is far away. Out of the way of heart, kill you. I mean, I'm carrying too much stuff. What in the hell are you talking about? Okay, too many weapons. Um. Just get rid of some of those. All right. Can we not? Can we not? Please and thank you. Just run back over to the shrine real fast. I want to get that last final thing. So we'll be done with the shrine for Kiryu. We just gotta get the shrine finished for Majima. Out of the way. Irritate me all to hell. All right. Try that again. Stop being a pain in my ass. Yep. So again, I've spent more CP than I've actually earned. Whatever. I don't care. It's all good. All right. Real quick, we will go get the businesses running again real fast, and then we're gonna uh, call it a day. So I think I think we did some good good work. Um, I'm assuming that last. Slip story is not in fact going to show up until we get to more chapters of the game. Um, I've never seen uh, any requirement that you have to be in a certain chapter, but you may have to be. So I'm just going to ignore it until it shows up. I mean, you know, we still got a couple of chapters left with Kiryu, so it's not like it's not going to have plenty of time to show up whenever we get back to him. So now we really should get to. Uh, 300 billion yen. Right now. Okay. Wow, nearly 3.5. Hmm. Okay. Alrighty, uh, go ahead and start. This one we gotta deal with. I think the staff is fine. We'll probably not quite get to the best, but we're pretty close. So that's not bad. This one we're not anywhere near. Oh my gosh, it's gonna take like five times to get that up to the best. Hey, we ranked up to B! Just barely. 17 to 23. This one should also rank up to be. Great! 
We went from 3.8 million to 5.1 million. Yeah, I'm spending way more on that than I'm making. Um, but I've only got four stores left, so... Uh, and that one's just about finished. This one's got at least one A, and the other two are on B. I mean, that's not bad. And then we'll jump in here, the staff is fine, we'll get this up to um, level B. From 4 million to 5 million. Sure. Okay, pretty good. I mean, you know, we're making tons of money. So you can't argue with that. We're really not spending any money, really. I mean, 48 million at this point to for an advisor is nothing. Basically, we've got more money than we know what to do with at, at this point. At least for right now. All right, gang. Uh, we're going to stop here. Let's go ahead and go ahead and save. Let's check our stuff first. Um, inventory, other than I use some stuff, want to change equipment. Uh, we did get a new pistol or something. Never runs out of bullets. Interesting. Huh. Cool. I wonder how much damage it does. I'm going to have to try that weapon. Um... Abilities we didn't spend any money on. I mean, we could, I guess. What have we spent the least on? We spent the least on Rush. All right, let's check it out. This should be a um, maximum health. Let's do that. 100,000 yen. Uh, extra quick step distance, sure. Three billion yen I still have. Um, Eagle Spirit. Boosts the damage you deal when attacking stun enemies. Does not apply to heat actions. Okay, sure. Extra damage is good. Um, that's all our hundred millions, I believe. Yeah, hundred millions. The next go to four hundred million. Let's hold off on the four hundred millions. Um, oh no, we got one more. Never mind, I, I take that back. Step out. An evasive move is added to the actions after a rush combo. Okay. Or not. I like it. Okay, that should be all the hundred millions. Let's go back. Um, let's check out Beast. He still has some stuff that's locked. What the actual hell? Why do I have stuff that's locked? I'm confused. What was what was locked? Um. Okay. Uh, close line badge, a powerful spinning blow unleashed from the resist guard stance. I need to I figure what I have to do to unlock those. Um, further boost defense while burning a resist guard, sure. This is Rush. Uh, Essence of the Beast Torment. Yeah, nothing I'll ever use, but we'll, we'll buy it just for the hell of it. Uh, that looks to be all of the. 100,000s. I can't remember what you have to do for this. There's nothing else has locks. Hmm. I don't know. I don't remember what it is that we do. Anyway, that's pretty good. Um, let me check Brawler real fast. There might be 100,000 left. Okay. Draw upon the energy to do this damage would normally knock you down. Sure. Brawl Mastery allows you to perform a series of grab combo attacks. Nice. We'll do that. Uh, what else? We got that one. Oh, we don't have this one. Snatching Strike. Sure. I mean, I know we're spending a ton of money, but whatever. It's all good. Successfully guarding against will cause the heat gauge to rise. However, it will only flip to the second bar. Alright. Again, I'll probably never use that, but whatever. It's all good. Uh, the only one we're missing is one more, uh, or two more, really, um, training missions. So I am pretty pleased with that. Um, very nice. Okay, very good. Wow, we spent over a billion yen on Brawler. Pretty sweet. We've done that. Uh, the pagers at zero. The businesses are pretty much where they were, except for... Um, did anything change? No, nothing really changed except we, we raised them. The completion list. 
We're now at 83.69, so we went from 83 to 83.69, um, just, just because we finished off that training. And I think that was it. Did we get CP for anything else? I think there was something else we got CP for, but I don't know. Uh, Kazumu, or Kiryu has now finished 59 out of 60, and we've got three more for, for Majima, so he's, he's nearly done too. Um, the notebook looks like it hasn't changed. 101 is where I was at, so I'm going to leave that there. So that's it. We're good. Let's go ahead and save the game. Save. Create a new save. And we're done. All right. In the next episode, guys, we are going to finish off Chapter 10. That's like the first thing I'm going to do. I might, you know, do the businesses. Maybe not. I don't know. Um, there's not really a lot left to do because I've only got four stores left. I mean, I can upgrade those in the next chapter. Um, not this not the next chapter, but the next Kiryu chapter, which will be chapter 13. Um, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, I will, we'll see. I mean, you know, if I get to him this week, I will. If I don't, I don't. Anyway, the, what I was about to say is, in the next episode, we are going to advance to, to chapter 11, finish off chapter 10. I don't think there's much left to do, but um, we'll go ahead and do that. And then we'll meet back up with Majima, and we will start uh, doing his thing. Now, the deal with Majima is we're going to do the same thing as with Kiryu. I think, if I'm not mistaken, he's got two more women left to train, um, and we'll do one per chapter. We were doing two per chapter, so we're going to drop that down to one, so that's not quite so grindy. Um, and you know, it'll take two chapters, and, and then we'll be done with that. So that'll be the plan. But anyway, for right now, we're going to stop here. So let me take a moment to thank my patrons. My $5 plus patrons are Michael Hilliard and Tor Gregory. You're going to see the details of my $3 and $1 plus patrons in the description below and at the end of this episode, respectively. Please do take a look at the links in the description, guys. That is good stuff, and it's definitely worth your time to go to go uh, look at. So to put that. Thank you very much, gang. Um, seriously, it is a huge help to this channel, and I'm very appreciative of the assistance that you guys provide. Um, I, I certainly could not have done some of the things that I have done without your help. Um, you know, there's there's m numerous examples of that. Everything on the PS3 that we've done was because of, of your assistance and um, other stuff. So, yeah, very much, uh, very grateful for that. Anyway, um, okay, gang, we're going to stop here, and we'll pick this back up in the next episode. So I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please take a second to comment, like, and subscribe. All these things really help me out. I'd like to say a big thanks to all my patrons whose names are appearing on the screen right now. Thanks a lot, guys. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more great content, consider joining my list of patrons. There's a link on the screen in the bottom left corner. Thanks a lot, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.